Are you a nursing student looking for a few extra tips on how to prepare for your nursing classes? I know some weeks it could seem like you're being asked to read over 100 pages, but it's doable and I'll tell you how. Stay locked into this video where I can show you how to save time and energy preparing for your nursing classes. Keep it right here, the fun's just getting started. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Just B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button now or leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. Preparing for class. I know, I know. It's yet another thing to do on your to-do list, right? Most of your professors set the expectation that students come prepared for class by doing all the readings and pre-learning activities. But some of you might be asking, can't I just wing it? Can I just roll out of bed and log into class? Do you want my advice as a professor? Here it is. Part of success is preparation on purpose. In other words, preparation in anything will set you up for success. But before I share a few tips with you on how to prepare for class, I wanna just briefly share why your professors, including me, believe preparation as a nursing student is so important. It really just boils down to this. In order to be safe in the clinical setting, students first need to understand essential content from the textbook. For example, if you don't know how a medication works by reading up on it, there is no way you can safely administer that medication as a nurse. You can't use or apply knowledge that you don't understand. When I talk about preparation in this video, I'm not talking about reading 100 pages in your text just because your course outline says you should. What I'm really talking about is having a basic understanding of the concepts. The goal of doing your class readings in advance is to make sure you're familiar with the terms and important aspects of the topic. Once you do, then attending your classes and taking notes from the professor's lecture or participating in the class activities helps to reinforce that learning and further your understanding so you can eventually apply that knowledge in a real life setting. All right, so now on to the part that you've all been waiting for. How do you prepare for classes? Well, here are a few practical strategies for you to consider using. Before you start reading every paragraph in your textbook, one of the ways to be efficient in your preparation is to narrow in on the most important topics. Well, how do I know which ones are most important? Well, you will most likely find this in your course syllabus or your course outline. Every week, professors identify the learning objectives for a particular class. Basically, these learning objectives tell you, the learner, what you can expect to accomplish by the end of that class. So it would make sense that you focus your reading on being able to achieve each of those objectives. For example, a learning objective might say, by the end of this class, the learner will be able to discuss the importance of hand hygiene. Once you know the learning objective for a particular class or topic, you want to concentrate on reading content that is related to that objective. So in this example, you need to zone in on the part in the book that talks about why hand hygiene is important. Don't get carried away reading all the extra stuff in your textbook, like all the species of bacteria found under your fingernails. Save yourself time by reviewing the content in your textbook that relates to each of the learning objectives, because who has time to read every single page in the textbook anyways? Some students like to take their own handwritten or typed notes as information in a way that makes sense. Research tells us that note-taking has a ton of benefits for student learning. I've included some here in the list, but if you're pressed for time and can't take your own notes, well, another option is to use the lecture notes or the notes that your professor provides online. 
As you're reading the textbook, use the lecture notes and add to them. You, you might include additional terms that are found in the textbook, or maybe you don't quite understand something, so you circle it or make a little note to yourself to clarify that with your professor in class. Remember, lecture notes that are provided by your prof are the bare bones of the content. They provide the main concepts, but don't give you all the details or explanations. That's your job. You still need to use your textbook to fill in those blanks or add additional details that are not covered in the lecture notes. If you've got your own notes or you're using the lecture notes provided by the professor while you're in class, add any additional notes using a different color so you can distinguish between the study notes that you took beforehand versus the study notes that you took during class. Many students think that reading automatically means they understand. I wish this were the case. But unfortunately, many of us don't have photogenic memories and we have to do a little extra work to ensure that information sinks in. In other words, reading and rereading the textbook or reviewing your notes does not mean you understand the content. You won't truly know what information you actually retain until you challenge yourself. I know it may seem weird to test yourself, but self-testing is such an effective study strategy. It's like a checkpoint that you create for yourself before moving on to the next topic or chapter. So ask yourself, how well do I understand this content? So to put your understanding to the test, I encourage students to take advantage of the questions or quizzes that come at the end of the chapter. Most textbooks nowadays have some sort of chapter summary or a short series of questions or activities that assesses the student's learning. So after you read a chapter, Take five minutes and answer those questions to ensure you are absorbing that information yourself. By completing a short self-test, it can help to identify any gaps in knowledge or areas that you need to pay more attention to. Another way to put your knowledge to the test is to use those class learning objectives that I talked about earlier. Review each of those objectives and see if you can answer each of those learning objectives in your own words. You know what I used to do? I used to pretend I was teaching someone and verbally answering the learning objectives out loud. Preparing for nursing classes is no joke. It's not as simple as reading a few pages and casually strolling into class with no idea of what you're walking into. Think of it this way. Would you want your nurse casually strolling onto the unit and unprepared to care for you or your family member? I know I wouldn't. Nursing school doesn't work that way simply because there's so much content covered in each class. To get the most out of your study time, students have to find ways to study efficiently while still achieving the same outcomes. So I challenge you over the next few weeks to use some of these class prep strategies that we discussed today. Here they are again, just in case you forgot. Number one, use the class learning objectives to focus your reading. Number two, Take your own notes and add to them during class. And number three, test your understanding frequently. I'd love to hear what class prep strategies have worked for you during nursing school. I know everyone may have their little tips and tricks, so feel free to comment below and let's share each other's successes. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>